dancer. And I've been 30 for the last 15 years. Ah, I like yeah. that. I do a lot of th different things, but I, um, one thing I do, I prepare women to go from welfare to work. I prepare women to go self, become self-sufficient. I work for the welfare Ooh, program. That's that's wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. I'm all for that. Awesome. Yes, awesome. you're an amazing person. That's awesome. Monica is a trip. Like, she's funny. She likes to talk. She likes to hear herself talk, but she needs to be careful. Her and Nicole are very similar. They're not playing the game. They're playing, um, hey, I'm real, and they're, like, still in the audition process, and that's over. I have two kids, and I'm divorced, and uh, my children are... I'm not even going to tell you how old my kids are. No, I'm 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 Sherry, any way you look at it, is hot. And I hope her 17-year-old son isn't watching this because I'm, like, embarrassed that I'm going to, that you know, I think it, her, his mom is hot. This was a dare! I can't believe my dare! <laughs> hey, mine was, too. Oh, I know! We both! Okay, yeah. big boy. Come on! Hey, I'm Justin from Bayonne, New Jersey. Bayonne, it's right by Jersey Bayonne. City in Newark. My first impression of Justin... Mm. You ever hear Newark? Everyone gets oh, shot over there? You heard yeah. Newark, right? Oh, he's... <laughs> he's crude. No, I don't have any kids. You know what I mean? None I take credit for, at least. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nicole, she's just, like, so raunchy and so this and just, like, I don't know, she turns me off big time. Oh, they my go, They gosh. go, what two things would embarrass you most, like, bodily functions or whatever, living with other people? And I'm like, well, taking a change of my tampon, you know? <laughs> and they're like... I did the same thing. You know, and I'm like, I can't believe I just said that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, but yeah. I'm Kent from East Tennessee. Knoxville. Knoxville. Oh, um, I have uh, two children, Alex, age 11. Uh, it's her fault I'm here. She dared me to do this. We all, uh, we all and did. Madison, Maddie, she's age 6. Oh, uh, are you still married? Uh, yes. Okay, I couldn't tell. Wow. Uh, no, I don't wear a wedding band. No, he's oh, very wise. One of those guys, are guy. you? Yeah, yeah, my, wife, yeah. my wife won't let me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Krista. I'm from Louisiana. I'm 28, and I have an 11-year-old daughter. Oh. Oh, what's her name? Lakin. Lincoln? Lakin. 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 Like a lake? Yes. And put it in. Oh, lake, lake in. in. Oh, that's cool. My name is Will. I uh, live in Miami Beach. What do you do? I'm a doctor. And... Uh, what are you, Doogie Howser? Yeah, because they're doctors. <laughs> <laughs> Will is going to be some very tough competition. He has a game plan in his head that's like the gears are just turning and turning and turning and they don't stop. He's definitely a threat. Uh, well, no, my residency uh, was in radiation oncology or therapeutic radiation, uh -huh. but I deferred that for a year um, to go to law school and business school. Oh, oh my God, your brain is way too big. No, it's not like that at all. We got, okay. we got it's just a really a deep, diverse group. There, there's each one is representing their culture or their neighborhood or whatever you want to call it. Their niche, their clique, in their own little way, and they're doing a really good job of it. Maybe we should all guess what everyone. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, let's start there. Let's just guess. Sports. Professional sports. Shannon, Personal trainer. volleyball yeah. play. I play volleyball. Yeah. Beach girl. Thank you very much. So what do you do for a living? Um, a little bit of everything. I'm an independent contractor. I model. I run boats, and I sell real estate. Wow. Some of these people that that it seems like other people think are like awesome, I'm just not really digging. All right, you're pretty much covering everything <laughs> there. Yeah, seriously, yeah. she's got she's got the market. Well, corner. it's so you don't have to go to work. I mean, I wake right. up and I uh, let's see. What, what do I want to do today? You know what? I, this is what I wanted to say. The whole group. We all need to get up and take our damn clothes off and just okay, get it over I'm with. Right you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> just get it over with. These people are very freewheeling. Uh, they'll tell you right now. Uh, and there's, you know, four or five guys sitting out there right now that'll say, hey, if I get a chance to screw somebody, I'm going to do it in this house. I think mean, we all need to moon the cameras or something. They told me there was going to be one dumb old fat guy. And I'm looking around, and I don't see him. Does that mean what I think it means? I like being here. I mean, everybody has their stories and came from so-and-so. And we all kind of mix. We all kind of the same in, the, in a certain way, but... It's still a game. You guys yeah. got a lot no, to be no, proud no, no, no. of, you really do. Right. Yeah. You guys. Back to Big Brother 2. The house guests have had about an hour to get to know their competitors. One key thing they'll be competing for is food. Winners get a week's worth of fresh groceries. Losers get nothing but peanut butter and jelly for the week. I'm about to tell the house guests about their first food competition, but there's a catch. This seemingly simple contest will take a surprising left turn. 
Hello, house guests. You look good, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Julie's hot. That was Points funny. Points for whoever said that. <laughs> now, I have a number of surprises to tell you about. Uh-oh. You've probably noticed your kitchen cabinets are full of nothing but peanut butter and jelly. Yes. Food competition. It's time for your first food competition. On, <laughs> and tonight, it's a group effort. Please go outside to the basketball court. Yes. Oh, yeah. Party, Shannon and Mike, please remove the maroon tarp. Oh, shirts. Oh. Hey guys, look out. Hey, hey, your shirts. <laughs> Yo. Oh. What you see before you is an all new 2002 Buick Rendezvous. On the patio, there are many bags of groceries. In order to win those groceries, you must fit all the bags and all of you into the car with the doors shut. Let's just say it's a chance to get up close and personal with your fellow house guests. You must remain inside the car for a full 60 seconds. Succeed, and you all get to eat well for a week. Fail. Well, it's PB&J for seven long days. Everybody ready? You may begin. I need to be by a window. I'm claustrophobic. Try to keep the chips up on the front. How are we doing? Oh, is it is it good? Rock the car! Rock the car! Everything in. What about this? Justin, I think you're crushing the bread. Right. So you're okay. I don't know if it has to be. No, listen, it's the first thing it's a gimme. It's a gimme. Hey, get in the car, get close. That's it. Who gives a okay. crap? Right. Who being so pessimistic? Wait, 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 wait. Justin was on top of me, and he kept digging a box into my knees. Justin, I think you're crushing the bread. I was one last one's in, and I was like laying on top of like three different girls. Justin sat on me. Justin crushed the eggs. Watch the ovaries, Dad. Watch the ovaries. It wasn't a comfortable position. He's just hungry. Everything was cool. Everybody else in the back looked cramped and uncomfortable, but you know, my seat was great. It was golden. Okay. Okay. Guys, don't anyone, don't anyone open a door or anything. Just stay until. Oh, yeah. House guests, you've won the groceries, but don't get out yet. We're not done. This 2002 Buick Rendezvous is more than a prop. We have a second competition for you. The last person to leave the car gets to keep it. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. That's right. The last person out of the car gets to go home with a brand new SUV when their big brother days are over. No bathroom breaks. No smoking. No sleeping. No sleeping. No sleeping. And even if you have to let someone out, you can never touch the ground. Good luck, everyone. Hey, guys, I'm on a sleeping bag. I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to have this car. I'm a single mother with no car in Dallas. I want a car.
I was sitting in there thinking, I want this car. Whoever stayed in the car the longest would win the competition. Man, was, man, we got mad groceries, I man. I want to see some people battle this out. I really didn't know how it was all going to play out. Nicole said something, and it made people a little agitated. When we just get out, let somebody take the car. Whoever takes the car is the first nominee for whoever's oh, head of household. Wait a second. Nominee or leaves the house? Leaves the house. Leaves the house. We all have to vote for them to leave the house. Wow. It didn't go over the way I wanted it to. Then all of a sudden, everybody got uppity about it. Nicole brought up the last person that stays in this car, they'll be the first person that voted out. Out. People started piling out of the car. I don't know if it was that everyone had so much pent-up energy or they were just so ready to do a little party 